Winter in southern Spain may not have snow or Christmas trees, but the cold wind brings with it fog and rain. Desolate as this may seem, there is still life here. Hidden and elusive. I'm back in the mountains in winter now. It's raining, it's really bad weather now. But what this means is that the amphibians are out. And this is a gorgeous salamander. It's one of the species of amphibians we have here in southern Spain. It's gorgeous coloration. You can look, it has these bright yellow colors, these patches. And the patches on the head, just behind here, actually produce a toxin. It's a defensive poison that if it gets on your skin, it irritates and it feels like it's really burning the skin. But it doesn't do much damage if you're just handling it like this. You'll have to get into um, like a very thin skin area. Gorgeous and beautiful. If you look on the head, try and get the focus. It's really beautiful. It has these yellow eyebrows as well. They're absolutely stunning salamanders. And the belly, if I show you, is more of a kind of light greyish colour. Amazing, they're real treasures of this mountain. They're becoming increasingly rare. In fact, amphibians all over the world are endangered. But the frogs and salamanders have been hit the worst because there is a chytrid fungus that spreads. That affects mainly frogs. But for salamanders now, there's also a new disease that's coming from America. And slowly, because of the pet trade and because of all the import, it's spreading to other continents. And when it comes to Europe, it'll hit these guys and they'll disappear potentially forever because there's still no cure. And it kills them because it disrupts their skin. It essentially kind of petrifies the skin. And amphibians, they take their oxygen, they breathe through the skin. A big percentage of their um, like respiration gases comes in through the membranes. And so if you block the skin, they suffocate, they die. It's a big thing. So cute. Oh, it's a really cute little guy. If I agitate, it will probably start secreting the toxins, which I don't want to do. Wow, it's nice. See, like this in the rain, this is what amphibians love. They love being in a moist environment. Because, of course, amphibians, they came out of the water. They were one of the few first animals on land. And so, over time, they haven't really changed much. Reptiles have got scales which protect them from drying out. Amphibians, they need their wet environment. It's really big as well. This is an adult. In fact, it's an adult male salamander. You can see that because it has little sacs under the tail. Beautiful. Really big guy. I'll let it go just here. I'll let it walk off. If you come back, we'll see. It'll disappear back into the undergrowth. And so this forest salamander blends back into the mist.